Our latest update is going to drastically improve your workflow. Our Layers tab has been completely redesigned and re-engineered to organize your vector paths in the easiest possible way. So what we're looking at now is a single artboard. Tap here, and you can see all the guides that have been set up for this particular space. And depending on these guides, the toolbar will also look different, but we'll tackle guides in a separate episode. Let's go back to our artboard and expand it. The first thing we notice here is a toggle that allows you to see all the elements that are inside that layer. Next to it, we have the name, which was assigned to the layer. Then we have the opacity, which you can change by tapping. By doing this, the opacity of all the elements in that layer will change. This eye symbol lets you hide or show the layer, as you can see. And lastly, you can lock or unlock your layer. If you lock it, then you cannot make any edits to it, like I am doing now. This comes in handy when you have a sketch or a background layer or any layer that you no longer want to edit. But you can also lock or unlock singular elements for more precision. To create a new layer, tap on this plus button, new layer, and now a fresh new layer is added at the top. I suggest you give all your layers a unique name. This will make your life so much easier, trust me. Speaking of which, let's look at all our available gestures. Let's start with selection. A simple tap allows you to select each layer individually. And of course, if the layer has multiple elements, just like this croissant here, all its elements are simultaneously selected. And they are highlighted both on my artboard and the layers tab, so they are easy to identify. But if I wanna select multiple layers instead, then I can press this button up top aptly named select, and tap whichever layer I want to work with. Let me select layers that are unlocked. So if I select this one and this one, now I'm able to move them around all together. If I want to select consecutive layers instead, I can do that really quickly by dragging two fingers up or down across my layers. And now they are highlighted, meaning that they are selected. Remember that we are still in multi-select mode right now, so either press on done at the top of the layers tab or deactivate the multi-selection mode from the toolbar. Without this mode turned on, you can simply swipe right on an object or layer to select it. Another quick way to do this. All right, moving on. What if I want to delete a layer? Let's select this blueberry here. Once selected from the artboard, the layer is highlighted in the tab as well. All you need to do is swipe all the way left. Too fast? Let's do it again. There you go. But if I do a simple left swipe, then I uncover these two editing options here, which allow me to duplicate or delete my layer. Duplicate does exactly what you'd expect. Now I have two blueberries instead of one. The biggest impact that we see from the layers redesign is how groups and masks behave. Now groups can be expanded from the layers, and masks can be created within groups or subgroups. You can tell that we have a mask by this M letter here in the lower right corner of my shape. And masks will always become the element at the bottom of the group or subgroup, meaning that all the objects above the mask will be nestled under the mask shape. Nested groups or groups inside other groups are now possible as well and super easy to create just multi-select your objects, and group as you normally would from quick actions. Lastly, because layers work like folders, you can now drag and drop anything from anywhere. So if I wanna remove this path from my group, I can just drag and drop it outside of the group itself, meaning that I can move it and adjust it independently. The opposite also holds true. You can drag and drop anything from outside the group inside so it becomes part of said group. We're pretty sure you guys are going to love 4.8. Update to the latest version of Vectornator and give it a whirl. Next up, we're going to look in detail at masks and groups, so be sure to tune in.